Hello, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm really excited. We're going to be looking at some 30 caliber Ultra Magnums. So we're going to be looking at two cartridges that are extremely fast, kick you real hard, and are a lot of fun to shoot. Let me just go ahead and introduce the cartridges. We are going to compare the 300 Weatherby Magnum to the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum. We're going to look a little bit about the history. We're going to definitely look at the ballistics, how fast they're shooting these 30 caliber bullets, and to see which one might be the better 30 caliber Magnum. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's start with the oldest Magnum in this comparison. That, of course, is the 300 Weatherby Magnum. This cartridge was first introduced in 1944 by a young wildcatter named Roy Weatherby. And eventually, Roy turned his Wildcat cartridges into factory offerings, and, uh, well, the rest is history. Uh, a quite successful uh, high-velocity um, cartridges that he's made, and this is by far the most popular one. So what this cartridge is, it's based off the H&H &H cases, so the 375 and 300, and what Roy did was instead of it having a long taper towards, you know, the diameter of the bullet, uh, you know, he straightened it out and has that famous double radius shoulder that you see right here. And these cartridges are speed demons. Uh, some people might say this is the original Ultra Magnum, you know, before the Remington Ultra Magnum came out. So let's go ahead and look at the velocities, though. With 150 grain bullet, not that many people are using 150 grain bullets in a 300 Weatherby, you can get this going over 3,500 feet per second. The 165 over 3,300 feet per second, I think you can actually get it close to 3,400 though. The probably the most popular bullets, the 180 grain bullets, it's going 31, which really you could get over 3,200 feet per second. And then the bullet size that we're comparing today, uh, not the ELDX, but another bullet, the Acubond, in the Weatherby, you can get this going well over 3,000 feet per second. Now, the Hornady book says 3,050. You can get them going quite a bit quicker. Um, in my personal 300 Weatherby, the top velocity I've gotten with the 200 grain bullet was a little bit more than 3,150. Uh, but most of them are going to be shooting them. Um, 3,050 to 3,100 feet per second. So extremely fast. Now let's look at the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum. And it does live up to that name, Ultra Magnum. Interestingly enough, it wasn't until 1999 that Remington decided to introduce a 30 caliber cartridge. And boy, did they go big. This cartridge, parent's case, is based off the 404 Jeffrey case. So it's a bit wider than the Weatherby case and just a tad bit longer at 2.850 inches. Let me get a Weatherby case so you can see what it, how it compares. Here's my non-scientific little method of comparing them. Uh, they're, again, almost the same length. Uh, the real big difference, I mean, because the shoulders are basically the same as well, um, other than it's a double radius, but, you know, these are very similar other than the Remington Ultra Mag is going to have quite a bit uh, wider case. So it does have a bit more powder capacity. Let's go ahead and look at the Ultra Mag's velocities. Um, I think you can get this 150 grain going well over 3,600 feet per second. And then in a 165, 168 grain, well over 34. The 180, again, I think Hornady's selling it a little bit short. Uh, I think you could easily get over 3,300 feet per second. And then the bullet that, again, the, the weight I want to compare today, the 200 grain bullet, uh, 3,150. So roughly it's about 75 to 100 feet per second advantage over the Weatherby. Now let's go ahead and look at the ballistics for the 300 Weatherby mag with it loaded with the 200 grain Acubond with a very respectable BC of 0.588 and a muzzle velocity of 3,075 feet per second. Now, 
I've been able to get 3166 out of my Weatherby, but sadly the accuracy was nowhere to be found at that velocity. Uh, but uh, most Weatherby rifles are going to be shooting them around this, this fast in a 200 grain bullet. And the energy you're going to get is right at 4200 foot pounds. Recoil. Yeah, it kicks. Um, as I said in the very beginning, this is a high recoiling cartridge. A lot of people use them with muzzle brakes. Okay, let's go ahead and just take this out to 400 yards to see what kind of energy it has and velocity. It's going 2,450 feet per second. The energy is 2,667 foot-pounds of energy. The drop, yeah, it's a flat shooting cartridge. Only 22 inches of drop when zeroed at 100. Let's go ahead and see how far we can take this out before it hits 1,500 foot-pounds. Kind of the minimum you want for an elk. Now, I don't tell people you should be hunting out this far, but uh, the cartridge is more than capable. At 900 yards, this cartridge is still almost going 1,800 feet per second, and the energy is just a little bit below 1,500 foot-pounds at 1,400. The drop, 187 inches. So yeah, this is a heavy hitter. Now looking at the 300 Remington Ultra Mag with that same 200 grain bullet and a muzzle velocity of 3,150 feet per second. Yes, I'm sure you can get it to go quicker, just like I could get my Weatherby to go quicker. But, uh, you know, we got to pick a number for him. So 3,150 feet per second. The energy is pretty incredible, 4,400 foot-pounds. And with it going almost 100 feet per second faster, it's going to have a little bit more recoil. Again, I think most people using the REM, are, um, they have a muzzle brake. Taking this out to 400 yards, you know, it's going 2,500 feet per second. And the energy still has about almost a 200 foot pound advantage. And the drop, very similar. I think this is within an inch of the Weatherby, but it is a little bit flatter. So let's see how far we can take this one out. I'm taking it out to 900 yards, it's going a little bit quicker than 1,800 feet per second, and it only has about a 90 foot-pound advantage out at 900 yards, so it's just a little bit below 1,500 foot-pounds. And then it is 177 inches of drop, so it is, again, a little bit flatter, but they are very similar. And you can't really go wrong with either one. Now, before I end this, I just wanted to talk about the pros and cons for each of these cartridges. Let's start with the 300 Weatherby. Let's talk about pros. You know, up until the 90s, this was the fastest 30 caliber Magnum in a factory offering. And so it is still really good performance. You know, it's shooting that 180 grain bullet at 3,250 feet per second. Uh, they come in great rifles. You can get them in a Vanguard or, you know, the very well-known Mark V rifle. And it has a great support. Uh, Weatherby is a great company. And uh, those are kind of just some of the, the pros for this cartridge. Uh, some of the cons for it is if you're not a reloader, ammo is really expensive. Um even before the pandemic and all of the ammo prices, you know, skyrocketing, you're still getting these, you know, at around $80 a box. Now it's probably going to be over a hundred dollars a box. Uh, it's expensive to shoot, uh, if you don't reload. So that is one big con. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of the 300 rum. So pro number one, this is something that some people really, uh, hate is belted magnums and this is not a belted magnum i don't particularly care or am bothered by a belted magnum so you know it is what it is but the 300 rum is not belted the next pro is that when comparing it to the other 30 caliber magnums there's really only two cartridges that are going to shoot faster than this that's of course the 782 warbird Maseroni and the 3378 Weatherby. So this thing is extremely fast. 
And when you hand load it, it's going to be about 100 feet per second faster than the 300 Weatherby. Let's talk cons. Well, it's bordering on being overboard. Uh, it's just a lot of power for not a whole lot more velocity. And here's the other problem. If you do not reload, you are going to get zero performance difference over the 300 Weatherby. Yep. Factory ammo has the exact same velocities as the Weatherby. So it's kind of tamed down in the factory loading. Now, if you're a hand loader, yeah, this thing's going to be quicker. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the cartridge comparison. So let me know in the comments below, which cartridge would you choose? Would you pick the 300 Weatherby Mag or the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum? Thanks again. Hope you guys have a great day.